my guy is demoning here and we are still busy with the what is it underground overground races and the hot hatches with the b class so before i go into the second race let me just actually go to my house and i can actually show you what i upgraded on the car and like i said i didn't do much i just took it up to the b700 mark and that was it so let's see custom upgrade you can start at the bottom here i did put it into four wheel drive seeing as we're doing a bit of dirt racing there i didn't change the engine engine is still the same arrow i just changed the wing what did i put here the kaminari non-adjustable wing and i changed the bonnet or the hood whatever you want to call it with the wing west hood it does look nice fits the car i like it so let's go on for the wheels i changed it here i put on a couple of 1552 cast monoblock tarmac rims i increased them to 19 inch because i like the way it looks see both of them there i did change the track width put it to the maximum i just like it when it's a bit flash or pokes a little bit from the body there oh also the tires are the rally tires so i did put the rally tires on there as well and on the drivetrain i did put the i think it's a yeah, seven speed gearbox put that in here the carbon fiber drivetrain or drive line it's strange that they don't call it the carbon fiber drive line here i think in forza 4 forza horizon 4 they did give it the name so it's just a race drive line but i mean the black one is normally a carbon fiber one and then obviously he off-road diff with the brakes i did upgrade them one here i put the sport brakes on and the rally springs of course and the maximum on the race front anti-roll bars i don't think it's actually i can probably put the sport anti-roll bars on there but i mean ugh, why not put them on there here also i just put in the chassis reinforcement i didn't go full row roll cage although i can probably it does increase the off-road and the braking a bit there acceleration drops but i mean so far so good i mean it didn't do too bad in the first race uh, and i think i yes street weight reduction so removing of the i think they call it the spare wheel and lighter battery and the tools and things that they remove but i mean just that there and then over here i did put in the sport intake and the street fuel system i didn't change anything on the ignition and the exhaust i only put the sport exhaust in there sounds better i didn't do anything with the cams because the cams would take it over to an a class over here the valves are the same as well as well as the displacement so the displacement also stock piston and compression is also stock turbos are also stock single turbo same with the intercooler and the oil cooling and then obviously here i took it up to a sport flywheel that brings it up to 700 so that's the only upgrades i did to the vehicle and then obviously i just tinted the windows made the carbon fiber bonnet in the paint shop and i painted the wheels white and, oh, and the brake calipers i made them that light blue there while i'm here i might as well take a picture of the Camaro which actually just disappeared hmm, strange maybe it went into the cast into the Castillo but anyway let's continue on with the race I think we have to go do race two now race two of the underground overground and I think it should be this one here yes La Selva scramble so let's go do that Ah, again a rainy race but at least this one is in the sunshine but anyway let's see how we do you see angel rick is also in the ford rs
So far so good. Seems to be a lot more tarmac on this one. Uh, I'm going to go to the off-road part or to the dirt roads. Ooh, a, bit of, a bit of a slide there. Ah, I'm going to go for the water. See if I can overtake this one on the outside. Nope. Overtook or overtake denied. At least now I should be on the inside. Yep, there we go. Ooh, I overtook two of them there. And that's just tactile fang in front. Hopefully we can catch up to him there. But I mean it's only the first lap, so. Still a lot that can happen. Felt a bit slow going around that corner. Fast around that one. Oops, a bit of a slam there. I do try and overtake the guys nicely. I don't like to do the, the whole body slam thing and ram them into a wall there. <laughs> so I try to avoid that and, you know, drive nicely. Even though it is against AI, but still. So we can go on the inside here. Nope. That mini is moving there. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, that could have ended <laughs> so badly there. Ah, too fast. So we're approaching the final lap here. Lap 3, let's see if we can uh, overtake Tactile Fang. Hopefully. If not, second place could still be, well, will still be okay. Regarding the points. I don't know if Tactile Fang finished second in the first. Oh, here we go. Yep, there we are. Nice, what I overtake. A bit too fast for that corner though. But yeah, I don't know if he finished, he or she, finished second in the first race, but oh well. And I'm in first place now, so, it, so that wouldn't matter too much anyway. From those trees. I thought that was the river, the river with the big ass rock. <laughs> or was it this one? Was it that one? I don't know. It's one of them. Oh, it's this one here. Yep. Ooh, sliding out too much. Tactile thing is right on my behind there. But I think we can still make it if I don't mess up this corner. And here we are. Should be a. Yep, we've got it. First place. Nice. Excellent. It was a fun lap, or a fun track. And the Silver Scramble. Did a bit of clean racing there. Let's see, I should be well in the lead now. I've got 20 points, 20 points over the previous one as well. So 40 points. Nice, 8 points in the lead. 
Oh yeah, I think Tactile Fan did finish second in the previous race as well. Anyway, we'll go on to the third race. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, leave a like and a comment down below, and uh, so I can hear what you guys think. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next race. Cheers.